I'm an artist. I studied art. And uh, I also restored this 1969 Mustang with my father. And I'm here tonight to talk about a project that started when I sold it to buy my wife's engagement ring. And now have recreated the entire thing out of paper. I think the average person has no idea what goes into this. I mean, when I talk to people about my work, they, they think it's automatic. Everyone's always in my work, how much time did that take? How much time did that take? So I was talking to one of the designers, it took him three days to draw a car grill, and I was like, wow, I drew mine in two. In talking with him, we're not that different. At the end of the day, we're, we're all creatives, and we're all inspired by the things we see. Well, my dad got me into restoring cars, and it was my dad who was the big Mustang nut, he still is. You know, restoring three old Mustangs really informed my practice as a sculptor. My dad rebuilt old cars, and my mom was an art teacher, so I kind of got a good mix of both. The old traditional methods of, of sketching and drawing, we want to capture that as much as possible, so we have a lot of digital tools now available to us uh, for the designers like Dylan when he's sketching. My work involves, like, using traditional technologies with the cutting edge technologies. So coming in here and seeing how they're transitioning to the computer and how I, I kind of battle in my studio the same way they do. So it doesn't really matter that it's a car. It's kind of interesting to see you guys working back and forth between clay and, clay. yeah. Yeah, because I, I don't work in clay, but I work in like 3D materials and then it's on the computer and back again. It's actually really inspiring to see his work. Who knows, it might actually inspire some of our work down the road. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what you're making. I mean, it's the same kind of mentality. 